Hello Internet, I'm going to show you today how to install Doom on your Mac. First you go to this site, it's called DOSBox.com and DOSBox is an emulator so that way you can play a whole bunch of different old PC games on your Mac. To get the emulator for the Mac, you're going to go to the tab called Downloads. Here it brings you a list of different downloads here. So you want to select the Mac OS X. And this gives you the latest version of DOSBox. And then it brings you to this other site. kind of looks sketchy. And you're probably thinking at this point, well, this is not good. But really, it's alright. It's safe. Um, so that's downloaded right now. And it'll show up here on my desktop with the disk image. So that's going on. I want to go to this other site. It's called DOSMuseum.com. Then here, this gives you a, a list of different old PC games. So here we're going to go to DOS games in the left side. This brings a list of different genres. Since we're playing Doom, of course we're going to select Action at the top here. And you'll see Doom here, third from the left. Go ahead and click that. And then here I'll give you the download. Click on the download button. And then I'll download a zip folder. Uh, into your downloads folder. Then here we're going to click on the DOSBox disk image. And then this brings you up the DOSBox application. Um, so what we want to do with this DOSBox, DOSBox application is you want to put that into your applications folder. To get to your applications folder, uh, there's a shortcut it's called Shift Command A. Go ahead and do that, and then it brings up your applications folder. So I take this DOS box and then just drop it right in. Booyah! And then if you want to arrange um, your applications, go ahead and do that. I like to keep my stuff organized. And then what you want to do is close out that disk image folder. And then the next thing you want to do is go to your downloads folder. You'll see there's the Doom folder. So go ahead and copy that. I'm going to go back out. And then in your home folder, you want to create a games folder. Boom. So now open that games folder and then click paste item. Now copy that Doom folder right in there. Okay, so now we got our folder set up. Now you want to go to DOSBox application. So go ahead and open that up, and then it'll say, hey, it's downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? And of course, yes, we do. That was the whole purpose of getting this game. So now, this is a kind of crazy setup, but I'll show you how to do it and it'd be no sweat. Go ahead and type mount C and then squiggly line. That's called tilde. If you really want to get technical there. Forward slash games. Now it's that games folder that I put into my home folder. So if you go back out here, this is the folder I'm referencing right here. And then you go back to um, the DOS box, and then you're going to type forward slash doom, and then that's referencing this doom folder right here inside the games folder. Okay, so now we go ahead and do that, and then it'll say dry C is mounted as local directory. So basically, now it's thinking that your hard drive on your Mac, it's kind of like thinking like a PC hard drive. So you know on the PC, your hard drive is called C drive. So now we're going to change our drives here from the Z drive uh, by going C colon backward slash. Okay. Now you want to see what's inside that C drive. So you hit directory, and then it lists all these different files. And, they, and these files exist inside the student folder. Now you're thinking, what's the next step I need to do? Well, 
you see here there's executable file. And that's mostly where you're going to be using is executable files. Because you know something will get done when it, <coughs> when it's executed. So you go ahead and type in D E I C E. And you don't have to type in the EXE. That doesn't matter. So click that and it brings you to the start screen. It's like which drive to install to. Of course, we want to try install the files to the C drive. So hit, go ahead and type C. Then it says enter directory name to copy into. Now at this point you're like, what the hell? Where's this Doom folder at? Or the Dooms folder? Because that doesn't exist in my games folder. So uh, this was pretty difficult for me to understand too. But all you have to do is hit enter. And then it says that directory does not exist. Create it. And then you're like, well, shoot, I don't know what's going on. So hit Y. And it creates. And so what that does is create this new folder. It's called Dooms inside your Doom folder. And then it just gives you one file dooms underscore 19.exe. So go back to your DOS box. And then if you hit DIR directory, it'll say, oh yeah, I got that one file right here, dooms 19.exe. So, crap, what do I do now? Um, well, let's type in dooms underscore 19. Enter. And now it's giving all this stuff, like inflating, inflating, inflating. And you're kind of freaking out because inflating and all these files are downloading. So you're thinking that it's going to download a bazillion files and crash your computer. I didn't know what's going on at this point. So yeah, I was kind of panicking a little bit. But I went through with it and everything turned out okay. So don't panic when this happens, okay? So you wait. And at this point, you know, you want to go get a tasty snack. Maybe you want to eat some pizza, um, listen to some music, maybe do a little dance. Because it's going to take a couple of minutes. It doesn't take that long, though. As you see here, um, a new file just popped up. And then shortly after, a bunch of different files pop. And you'll see all these files showing up in your Dooms folder. Okay, so now that's done. And what's the next step? <laughs> Just gets confusing, doesn't it? So you look here at all these other files, and what's the one file that pops out? Well, doom.exe. So what you do is type doom. And then, whew, hey, look, the doom screen popped up. What do you know? And then it gives you kind of like a little preview of the game, uh, but you notice that there's no sound. So if I go here, I hit new game, knee deep in the dead, and uh, let's go nightmare. Why not? You know, hardcore doom. So you go here and you're like, all right, let's see what's going on here. And of course I blew up a barrel, no sound. And it's like you want sound. You want to be able to hear those monsters coming towards you, you know, so you have quick reaction. Alright, so we go escape and we check out our options. Go to sound volume. We notice that our volume's you know at halfway, so there should be sound, right? Well, apparently when we set this up, we didn't set it up all the way. So you quit the game, press Y, and then it gives you kind of like details like, oh yeah, you should buy this and that, and so forth. All right, so now what we do to set up the sound, and we go up here in these files, and you see there's a setup.exe file. That makes sense, setup, you know, like set up your sound, set up your keyboard controllers. So you go type setup. And then you got this list of options. Um, so you choose sound effects card. Go ahead and choose that. I'm just using sound effects card because when I read the 
README file, it's pretty much said that sound effects card was the most optimal. So you choose that, and you see that no sound effects is selected. So that's why we won't get any sound. So choose Sound Blaster, and then choose 220 as your port address. And then as your IRQ, choose 7. I have no idea what IRQ means at this point, but may I find out later. Uh, but it doesn't really matter, you know? You're just wanting to play the game with sound. That's all. So you check 1 for DMA channel, and then I selected 5 for number of sound effects to mix. Okay, that's cool. And then now you want to configure your controller settings. Uh, so here you can select your controller type. If you want to, you know, if you have a joystick, wonderful. But I really don't see the point of using a joystick in Doom. Uh, more, you know, like flight games, flight simulators. I'm just going to stick with keyboard and mouse. And then configure your controller. I'm going to select keyboard. And you'll see here your different settings, like the up, down, left, right arrow keys to move, uh, space to open doors, um, control to fire, right shift to speed. Yeah, those look pretty good, you know. So I'll just go ahead and escape. And then here you got the option to save your parameters and launch Doom. So go ahead and do that. All right, so now it shows Doom, and then um, I'll come in, show you the preview, and hey, look, we got sound now, you know, like way cool. Okay, so we hit Escape, and then um, your options. You can turn it down a bit. And then go back out to our main menu. And then um, select the game. So we're gonna select the first level. And let's do Nightmare again. Okay, now we're in the game. 